Hello everyone, welcome to our very first video for this class. Before we dive into the actual lessons, I would like to take a moment to go over some important things. I will explain what to expect from this class and what you need to prepare before jumping into animation. But before we start, let me do a quick introduction first. Hi, I'm Miu A or also known as Miu Akatsuki or Akira Yoru an independent freelance artist specializing in illustration, animation, and merchandising. I'm best known for animating my own illustration using After Effects. I think what makes my animation different are on how I create an illusion of depth and dimension, achieving 3D-like impression just from 2D assets. I also only use After Effects built-in tools, so in this class, we will only use tools that already provided on After Effects since the beginning. No need to download any extra plugin. You can check my social media to see my other portfolio. My journey. During my uni day, I majored in animation. But apparently, the curriculum mainly focused on 3D animation, which wasn't my passion. However, I did learn animation principle theories and the basic use of After Effects. After graduating, I decided to self-study, deepen my After Effects knowledge using free resources like YouTube. After a lot of experiment in applying After Effects features on my own illustration, I eventually developed the unique style I have today. Yay! Important notes. First, you may have noticed already, but English is actually not my first language. So, I might make some spelling mistakes and use wrong grammar sometimes. And for that, I'm really sorry. Please bear with me and my limited vocabulary. Thank you so much for your patience and understanding. Second, I want to emphasize that my technique may not be suitable for everyone. The way I work is not fixed or the most definitive method, as I am still and will always be learning myself. The main purpose of this class is to show you how I work all this time, but you don't need to do exactly the same. Someone might find a more efficient approach than mine, and that's totally fine. What we will learn? In this class, we will learn how to create a complete 2D animation using Adobe After Effects from our own illustration. Rather than animating an already finished illustration, we will be creating an entirely new one. Start from sketch, designed specifically for animation. But if you are an animator who typically works with illustration created by other artists, you can just skip the illustration process and focus solely on learning the animation techniques. The techniques. My animation technique is mostly known as twinning. Unlike traditional animation, which require you to hand round each frame manually, Twinning allows the animation software, like After Effects, to automatically generate the in-between frames. Some people also refer to this style as 2.5D animation because while the asset used are 2D, the animation creates an illusion of depth, giving it 3D-like appearance. Class Levels My class level is basic to intermediate, not really a beginner-friendly. My target is... Rather than explaining After Effects features or animation theory as a wall, I will instead focus on what we will use or what I often use on my works. The class itself won't covering all of my animation knowledge as it is just not possible in one class. However, we will focus on the core or fundamental techniques for this type of animation, especially in adding different angle on the character. This way, we can stay focused and avoid unnecessary information that might cause confusion. Here's a little bit insight. Since my class focus are on animation, my class will not include illustration lessons. Means, I won't be teaching about how to draw character or explaining tools in drawing application. I also will not teach you how to draw correct anatomy or how to create a new layer, etc. In short, I will teach with assumption that you guys already have basic knowledge and techniques for illustration. What I will cover are the assets preparation technique, basic principle of animation, and after effect important tools. 
However, I will not explain after effect as a wall or going over every tool and effect inside. I mean, come on, look at the mount. There are just simply too many. If you want to learn after effect in more detail, especially effects or tools we don't cover on this class, I highly recommend checking out tutorials on YouTube. Software and device. There is three software I will use in this course. Medibank for drawing, PST for adjusting, and After Effects for animating. Here's what mandatory and what's optional. For drawing application, you have the freedom to choose. But it must be able to save the files in PST format, while preserving all the layers position and hierarchy. The reason for this is because After Effects only supports reading drawing files and their layers within in Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator format. A lot of common drawing apps like Medibank, Clip Studio Paint, Procreate, and Sketchbook can save or export the files into PSD. But to make sure, please double check your app before starting the drawing process. For Photoshop itself, I personally use it for asset preparation after drawing, like renaming, cleaning, and arranging the files. But you can actually do this step in your original drawing app. It's just, I'm used to do final touch-up for my illustration on Photoshop, animated or not. That being said, I highly recommend having Photoshop, since there are certain effects that only available there. And you can actually connect After Effects and PST files for real-time editing. While you can still create animation without this feature, it makes the process much more efficient. The last one, After Effects is our main software in this course, so it's a must. There is two devices that I will use in this course. Samsung Tab S9 Plus for drawing device and Lenovo Laptop for animation device. For the drawing device, it is up to you. However, please keep in mind that if you want to create detailed animation like the 1% in this class, you will end up with many many layers. So, make sure your device is capable of handling such weight and details. For animation device, you need to make sure your laptop or PC are capable enough for After Effects. You can check in Adobe's website for the minimum requirements. Let's try compare it with my laptop specs. You can see, the minimum requirement for the processor are 1000, meanwhile mine are 5700. Far exceed the recommended one, which is only 3000. For the memory itself, mine meet the minimum and the recommended one, which is 16 GB. For the GPU, it meet the minimum 4 GB requirements. And for the storage, make sure you prepared more than the one on the website, since 8 GB are only the software installation. Mine have 512 gigabytes since I will make a lot of project and that take a lot of space. This answers the question at how my laptop are strong enough to run preview smoothly in real time. It meet or even exceed the minimum requirements. Our animation will be kinda heavy, so if your device are not capable enough, there's possibility your after effects stop working in the middle of animation process, which we don't want it to happen. Workflow. My working process will include drafting, sketching, drawing assets, assets preparation, animation, and then rendering. To make our class more organized, my overall course will be a journey to complete one final animation, starting from the idea to finish video. However, it will not just be a time-lapse video. I will also provide explanation while we work on it. As I mentioned before, our class will not animate an already finished illustration. Instead, we will explore how to create an illustration that is specifically designed for animation from the beginning. The process of creation will be different from normal illustration only. In our class, the step of drafting to drawing assets will be done using Medibank. Asset preparation will be done in Photoshop. Animation and rendering will be using After Effects. Here's the quick preview for our workflow. Drafting. This is the first step we need to take to transfer any idea from our brain into the canvas. We will start visualizing the concept and writing down what will actually happen in our animation. What is the movement? What is our focus? This step is important for deciding which asset we will separate later, as it is largely depends on the movement of the character. 
sketching. In this step, we will refine our draft into a tidier version. To make the actual drawing process less confusing, ensure that the sketch is already finalized. Elements such as color palette and the pose should be fixed. However, there is no need to render the details, unless you prefer to do so, as some artists create a highly detailed sketches already. I will not show a time lapse of how I refine my draft into sketch, as this is purely an illustration process, and that is not included in our class. So instead, I will skip the making process and just show you the sketch finished results. Drawing assets. Now this step will include a real-time recording of me making it. We will learn how to turn our sketch into a finished illustration while separating the assets from the beginning, rather than doing so after the illustration complete. I will also provide tips on how to make the assets look seamless even though they are separated. Asset preparation. After finishing our assets, I will export my Medibank files into PST format and open the file on Photoshop in laptop. This process will include renaming, cleaning the files, arranging the layer position, etc. Basically, this step is meant to tidy up the files before moving them to After Effects. However, as I mentioned earlier, feel free to watch my video first and decide for yourself whether you want to do this step in your original drawing app or in Photoshop. Animation Now that the preparation in Photoshop complete, we will import our PST files into After Effects and begin the animation process. However, before we start animating the assets we prepared earlier, I will create several videos to introduce the essential knowledge you need to know first, including basic to animation principles and After Effects software. Rendering In this section, we will learn how to convert the animation files into watchable videos such as MP4 format. This is actually one of the easiest steps, since the one who works are actually your laptop. The rendering time will depend on your device specification. In my case, it usually takes about a minute. However, be cautious. Depending on your device capabilities, it may overheat or start making unusual noises. You can use a cooling fan on your laptop to help regulate the temperature. Hopefully, the explanation gives you some insight into the process we will go through. Make sure to prepare yourself. The goals. The goals are for you to implement the lessons you got from this class in your own illustration. Since each artist have their own unique art style, some of my steps, especially in an illustration process, will probably not compatible with your liking. That's why, by the end of this class, I hope you all be able to adapt and adjust what you've learned to better match your style. And maybe even discover a unique technique of your own. I think that's all for the introduction video. Now we are ready to start our lessons. See you on the next one. Bye!